let me take you back to the early 1990s, sleepy little laboratory in Parma, Italy, and scientists had a MRI brain scanning machine on a macaque monkey as the macaque monkey was trying to open up a nut. They wanted to see how the neurons would light up. So the monkey's trying to open up the nut, the neurons light up. And just by serendipity, and this is how science sometimes happens, a human being walked into the laboratory, I don't know if it was by mistake, and he was hungry, he saw the nuts and opened up one of the nuts and tried to crack it open. The macaque monkey was totally shocked because who was this invader in his laboratory? And he didn't move, he just gazed at this human trying to open up the nut, just like he had done a few seconds earlier, and then the scientist looked on the MRI brain scanner, the same exact neurons were lighting up when he observed the human being opening the nut as when the monkey opened the nut, and the scientists had not a clue as to what this was. They thought the MRI machine had broken. They then began to put MRI brain scanning machines on other primates, especially chimpanzees with our big, big neocortex. Then they went to humans, and what they found over and over again is something called mirror neurons, and that is that we are apparently soft-wired, some of the primates, all humans. We suspect elephants. We're not sure about dolphins and dogs. We've just begun. But all humans are soft-wired with mirror neurons so that if I'm observing you, your anger, your frustration, your sense of rejection, your joy, whatever it is, and I, I can feel what you're doing, the same neurons will light up in me as if I'm having that experience myself. Now, this isn't all that unusual. We know if a spider goes up someone's arm and I'm observing it going up your arm, I'm going to get a creepy feeling. We take this for granted, but we are actually soft-wired to actually experience another's plight as if we are experiencing ourselves. But mirror neurons are just the beginning of a whole range of research going on in neuropsychology and brain research and in child development that suggests that we are actually soft-wired not for aggression and violence and self-interest and utilitarianism, that we are actually soft-wired for sociability, attachment, as John Bowlby might have said, affection, companionship, and that the first drive is the drive to actually belong. It's an empathic drive.